Well, hello there, and welcome to Wilderman Hall, where the College of Education and Health Sciences is located. Why don't you come on in? As you come in through the main entrance here, you'll notice just to your left, you can see there's a directory. And if you look at the directory, you can see that in the Graduate School of Education is down in the 200 wing of the building. And um, being uh, someone who has a surname with the beginning with the letter B, you can see that I actually appear first on the list of options here. Michael Barber, you can see I'm located down in room 205. So let's head down the wing. Um, as you enter the 200 wing, you can see that uh, you know we've got some posters up, some information about our various programs. Uh, you can see further down, particularly along the right, a series of student posters that are up there, but there's a poster to the left that just catches your attention. It's, as you can see, it, it provides just a, a little bit of information about the Graduate School of Education here at Toro University, California. Um, but let's continue down until you get down to 205 and you see my name there. And uh, you can see next to my door some more of those student posters that we've mentioned, plus um, as you can see, I've got a few cartoons on the outside of my door, which is something that I've always uh, liked to do. Um, it's not fully enclosed yet because I'm still relatively new to Toro University, California here, so there's only uh, seven or eight items that you can see on my door. Um, as you come in to see me, uh, you'll note that I've got all sorts of things hanging around the office from all of these uh, badges or lanyards that you get uh, from various conferences to uh, flags and pictures on my desk and on my walls, um, a variety of, of scratchings along the, uh, uh, the whiteboard that you see there. And as you look around the room, you'll see other pictures and things that uh, I'm particularly proud of that I've picked up over the years uh, from you know, various one-room schools that I've seen to um, paintings of the oldest uh, school in the United States to places where I've done my own student teaching and where I began my K-12 career, various awards that I've won, but most importantly to me, you'll see all sorts of cards that uh, students and, and colleagues have given me over the years and other types of knickknacks that I've picked up uh, f uh, that you can see on my bureau, um, on my, I guess, um, bookshelves, if you will, and just, you know, completing around the room as you walk in and look back at the door, uh, you see that I'm a, a proud graduate of the University of Georgia. Uh, you'll see a number of, of education-related uh, pictures along the wall, many of which are focused upon my home province of Newfoundland and Labrador, as well as some items from my previous institution, uh, where in addition to being a faculty member, I was also the head coach for the school's um, club hockey team, uh, which we actually won our regional um, tournament a couple of times, so you can see uh, some items well, from that there. there. So and turning back around now, office again. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you all, and I'm sure I'm going to be interacting with you in a much more personal and individual way as the course goes on, but I wanted to take some time just here at the beginning to introduce myself. Uh, for those of you that um, haven't figured it out yet, I'm Michael Barber. I'm an Associate Professor of Instructional Design here in the College of Education and Health Sciences at Toro University, California, and I'm going to be one of the two instructors that you're going to be working with throughout this semester. Um, first of all, please, as you interact with me, either uh, through email or as we interact on your blogs or um, in any other of the mediums that we're going to communicate throughout the semester, please call me Michael. Um, I am a big believer in uh, democratic education, and um, if you call me Dr. Barber and I call you by your first name, that creates two very unequal levels and to me, having that sort of hierarchy within a classroom, even an online classroom like this one, um, isn't conducive to learning. So um, I'm going to call you by your first name, and I'd ask that you call me by my first name as well. So I'm Michael. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, as I alluded to in some of the other materials that um, um, you've looked at already. Uh, I'm relatively new to Toro University, California. I began here in September of 2016. Uh, prior to that, I had spent three years at Sacred Heart University, 
uh, which was located in Fairfield, Connecticut, or on the literally other side of the country. Um, uh, I was the director of doctoral studies there for three years in the College of Education. And then prior to that, I spent six years as an assistant professor of instructional technology at Wayne State University, which is in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, so it's kind of interesting because uh, in my professional career, I've gone from being in the northeast now down to the uh, far west coast, and I began sort of in what we call the Midwest, which is kind of the center of, of the country, at least the northern center of the country. Um, I did my doctoral work, as you noted um, when you had a brief tour of my office at the University of Georgia, which is down in the southeast. So really, when you're looking at the United States, it's only the northwest that I haven't um, studied in or worked in yet. So, um, in fact, I've other than going through the airport in Seattle and, and in Minneapolis, I don't think I've actually ever been very much in the south or the, the, the northwest. Um, I'm originally from Newfoundland, Canada, um, which is on the far east coast of Canada, and that's where I spent uh, most of my life and where I began my teaching career. Uh, being new to Toro University, I have to be honest and say that I'm relatively new to the topic of invitational education. Uh, it's something that I was first introduced to when I came here, which would be about a year ago now as you're starting this course in fall 17. Uh, fall 2017, although my colleague Jim O'Connor, who I'm going to be teaching this course with, um, he's been involved with invitational education for a long time now, and uh, not only having a long history with the topic um, from a professional and um, uh, uh, from an educator standpoint, but also having a, a very long standing personal relationship uh, with the whole topic of being an, an inviting practitioner. So welcome to the course once again. I look forward to getting to know you uh, throughout the semester and uh, and I'm hoping that you'll get to know me more as the semester progresses and really as your time in this either graduate certificate or master's in education in invitational education continues. Um, I'm the program coordinator for the either of those programs, so for both the graduate certificate and the master's in education. So beyond this individual course, if you have any questions about either of those programs in general, feel free to reach out to me and um, I'll do my best to help you along and I look forward to engaging in this journey on becoming a more inviting educator with you. Um, hopefully we'll uh, both get a lot out of this. I know that um, the way in which we've got the courses planned and, and the activities and, and both in this course and throughout the program I think will allow you to get a lot out of this and you'll benefit from it greatly but um, this really is a partnership and uh, you know, I'm going to learn a lot from you as well as you learning from uh, Jim and I. So I'm looking very much forward to this semester, and um, I'll see you as we get through the learning management system.